It's um, Supreme Sun, Lucci Supreme Sun at the Red Room. It's interviewing my brethren. Cyrus the Virus. Cyrus the Virus, get to know. Um, yeah, so, how are you today, man? I'm cool, man. Um, how can I say? I'm just going through a little cipher. Yeah. Booking up with a couple of other artists. That was all good. Yeah, you yeah, came right. down. I saw you did your thing, man. You did it yeah, right, man. How, how can I say, man? Um, see how hot? That's me. I'm a freestyle. Yeah. See, <laughs> see, the thing about this guy, yeah, that he actually did a, 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 a freestyle. I didn't. Yeah, my thing wasn't a freestyle, but his was. It came off the top, and that's what a lot of brands don't do now. Like, like he's one of the guys where when you say freestyle, you're definitely getting a freestyle. It came off the top, like so. You should be proud of that guy. Like a lot of guys now, they they spit sixteen. Well, like, I'm not saying that's that's the difference between an MC and a rapper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for real, man. Yeah. So I'm saying, alright then. So how long you been in the game or out of the game trying to get um, in? Well, well, I've been rapping since I was about ten or eleven. Yeah, properly since I was about fifteen. Mm -hmm. And then um, about so about seven eight years ago, I started an independent record label. Yeah, and I started doing my thing. Yeah, man. Um, can we can you disclose the information on your record label? What's the name? Yeah, of the, the name of the label is um Sapphire Recordings. Yeah, you try to get signed, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Guy, like, I can I say for a long time I was um doing what I was doing now, and um how can I say sending out CDs and packages to record labels and whatever, but um. You have to understand that these big record labels, mm. they get about a hundred plus mm. CDs every day. You get me? Yeah. Yeah. Half of them don't reach to where they're supposed to get to. Yeah. And the other half that do reach there probably don't get listened to if they're not either um, packaged the right way mm -hmm. or um, you need to be recommended. You get me? I can't just come down to the red room and say, yeah, I want to do a free stuff. Mm. Yeah. After you're recommended by A, B, C, D, you're going to say to you, you heard this guy type of virus. Mm -hmm. He's cool. You, you guys need to hook him up, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, then, boss. So, um, what are you bringing? What are you bringing to the game other than good music? You know what I'm saying? Like, how how do you want people to feel when they hear your the stuff? Are you trying to make people relate to you? Definitely. You to, um, as a MC, as a rapper, I just keep it real. You know I mean, when you hear me rhyme, I will say all of the things that you're thinking, but can't say mm. or don't know how to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You might hear me spit a lyric now and rhyme you're like. Rah. Yeah, I mean, you can actually see that in your head, but yeah, for yeah. you to express that yourself now, you're not going to be able to do it properly. Yeah. So basically, you speak for people who can't definitely, speak. Definitely. Like, so you're, you're, you're the voice of the youth for the, whoever's listening. The voice of everybody. How can I say, um, hip hop is universal. Hip hop is black, it's white, mm. young, old, male, female. Okay. All right, so spread a message for, let's say, the suburbians out there, the people who, who's living nice. Like, let's see, let's see your versatility on, on opinion. Like, what would you say to people out there that's living good? and how to maintain that feeling because obviously in life you could be going high and then everything could drop um, you know what I'm saying so how can I say um, to, to the suburbians out like there like. to the suburbians out like there there's a um, there's a quote that um, I often have to say to myself to remind myself that you hear me like you have to keep on track you hear me don't sleep too much of anything can make you an addict mm. yeah <laughs> Yeah, so it's true. whether it's too much partying, too much smoking weed, too much drinking alcohol, too much linking up with girls, man, whatever, make you addict. Hear me? Once you're addicted to something, then that creates over you and your life. Hear me? So how can I say you need to take control of your life? Don't okay. let anybody else or anything. Alright, so what about the fuggeries out there, the little guys out there that's got, you know, they take things for granted. They take, <laughs> they take being able to eat them up for granted. You know they want to they want to be fucked. They, they want to go like there's a problem and they ain't really a problem. You know what I'm saying? Well, what I'm saying to them dudes. How can I say? So you know who you are. How can I say? Um, as a youngster growing up, I grew up on a council estate in East London, and um, this estate um, it comprised of three tiers. Yeah, they were the youngest, which was me and mine. You get me? They were the heads that were a little older, and they were the bigger man. You get me? Everybody knew their place, you get me? Everybody knew everybody. There was no, how can I say, animosity or disrespect. I could leave my estate and go to the next estate, you get me? These heads know where I come from, what I do. It's not a flex, but I'm going there on no arms and flex, mm. you get me? If I go there and I see a man who's bigger than me, I share in the respect, you get me? That's good, that's good, man. Yeah, the man who's on my level, there's a mutual respect. Now, it's a completely different thing. Because like I said, at that time there now, as far as gangsters, bad mans and gangs, 
The only two gangs that I knew of were the Untouchables and the 28s. Mm. And they mm. were some short mm. part. Say names and shit. No, they were some poor part gangs, they were. They were some poor part bad man. Them. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you see, uh, you know, through my lifetime, yeah? Mm. She would the bad man that I know, or have come across, or they want to be fucks. Mm. How can I say? They're not hearing you. They didn't last long. No. That's, I, I was going to say before you They're, say yeah, yeah. What you have to understand is all bad men end up dead or in prison. Mm. Yeah. But the best thing for you to do is to do you and keep yourself quiet. Don't draw too much attention. Mm. You know what I mean? Don't let anybody take advantage of you, but don't go and like you're too rough. Because there's always somebody out there who is better than you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's that's for you lot out there who think that you're something you ain't like. Yeah, I've actually got a track that we're working on for the new album. Yeah, which is called, promote, promote that, boss. The track is called, called, like, it's called Wanna Be Fucks, Wanna or be Incidentally. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Because you know this is something I think about every single day. So there you go. Yeah, you got these dudes walking up and down. Travis down there, huh? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Well, I know I'm hanging out of the tracks here. Yeah. Yeah, but you're half my age, and you want to look at me a bit to say, yo, black. Yeah. yeah, so this guy, he, he's one really? of the older heads out here that you should be respecting. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's what it's about here. It's about respect, love, and, and prosperity. How can I say? To a certain extent, yeah, what you have to remember is that this isn't back in the day. Yeah, like I said, back in the day, even on this council stay in East London, I had the bigger man, mm. the higher tier, and my level. Yeah. Mm. You see the higher tier? How can I say? I had those people there to, to sort of guide me. Yeah. Mm. To the bigger man, that's what I looked up to. Yeah. When I want to grow up, I want to be like them man. Yeah. Mm. Now, you see now? The bigger tier are all dead or in prison. Hear me? The middle tier have been um, overcome by the lower tier. Yeah? Now, when they've been overcome by the lower tier, the lower tier are running the place. Yeah? Now, if you don't know anything, then you can't teach me anything. Mm -hmm. And that's how it's running now. Mm -hmm. These little youths don't know anything about anything, teaching them one or another about madness and being in gangs and whatever. Me. Yeah, it's, it's the prove prove everything and learn nothing. You get me? If you if you if you act like you know everything, then you're someone I'm gonna be wary of because you can't know everything. No, you know what I'm saying? You have to you have to go on like you don't know everything. It's certain times, so, you know what I mean? And you can't. How can I say? These youths now, they where they, they haven't got any role models. Like I said back in the day, I had my role models. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, where there's no role models now, these role models are either dead or in prison or worse. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's let's move on to um how you feel about music and, and what you're gonna bring to the table when you get here for for people. Um well how can I say I'm very passionate about my, my music. Hip hop's my business, I live this. Mm. <laughs> what can I so what brought you into it? Who who could you say yeah made me step up to the plate and, and um, I can I say I was always musically influenced. I started out as a jungle MC back mm. in the day. You get me just doing my thing with my little friends, you get me my brethren. Um a couple of the heads that I used to like John like, MC with back on back in the day on like um, those times there are actually um, still doing their thing on a different circuit. Yeah, mm. I don't know if you heard of um, D Double E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and him grew like this. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Like, shout, so shout yeah, yeah, I want to big up the um, man like D Double E, the full New and Generals crew. Yeah, yeah, man, because them man they actually making moves. Yeah. Blooker, blooker. <laughs> Local, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, any any other shouts? Anyone else you want to yeah, say? Yeah, man. Only shout the whole world, man. Like, mm -hmm. How can I say? There's too many heads to mention, and how can I say? If I start mentioning heads, then that's when you come into problems. Yeah, yeah forget something. Yeah. I'm gonna leave that deep. Yeah, but I want everybody. Yeah, from you know who I am, then you know who you are. Yeah, yeah just I'm like the just like the video on YouTube. If you know the dude, we we'll put a little comment. Don't do the thing where you go on there and you're like, yeah, I know him, innit? <laughs> and then you click onto another thing like. Yeah man, that's saying. another thing, people, you have to participate. I don't know what is wrong with this place, mm. yeah? Because we have these people out here that would prefer to invest in foreign artists mm. as opposed to their own. Now, there's nothing wrong with foreign music, but we do also have talent in this country, yeah. and a lot of talent. Yeah, yeah, start repping, start repping some English heads too, because a lot of these guys out here, they'll happily pass by you to go and look at someone from another country or something like that. We need to kind of rep London a little bit. But um, yeah, dude, so what, any acting? Like, can we see you in any videos? Um, well, at the films? moment, we've got a thing. The new video, um, like the first single from the new album, it's called um, The Real Science of Virus. Mm. That's out at the moment. 
um, working on a new project. I'm gonna have to keep that under my hat for now. But um, mm. don't worry, you guys are definitely gonna see that in a hot minute. Um, I'm just networking right about now. Yeah. Yeah, man. I right, give you details that one more time, man. We'll... Um, yeah. Like I said, my size of virus. You can check me out on Facebook, MySpace, Rhapsody, Nimbit. You can go and pick up the new tune on iTunes. But the phone's ringing. This, this is the guy to know. Like, like, phone what? Like, holy shit. Alright, these heads are going to have to wait, but I'm um, like, I was saying. <laughs> yeah, you go online, Google Science the virus. Yeah. See, but the phone ringing at that time kind of proves that he's the guy to know, really, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it, really? Because you should just be calling him right now. It should be you calling him right now. Well, it's probably somebody watching the video calling me. Yeah, I want to be surprised. Right, it's, it's, a live, it's a live thing. I want to be live. surprised. This is live, it's not pre recorded. Anyway, Rav. Yeah man, it was nice coming down the hook yeah, with you guys today. Up. Red Room. Yeah man, I'm going to big up the Red Room um, D-Pack recordings. That's, at the moment, um, me and D-Pack are actually working on my new album. So, how can I say, it's sort of a family thing and, you know what I mean? We're going to make it big.